Spider silk is really difficult to create on a number of levels. One, you can't farm spiders. They just eat each other. We did that. That was our first office. About as big, much smaller than this room. Had about 100 spiders, about yay big, running free range. Um, our neighbors didn't like it. Uh, they didn't make much silk. We couldn't really harvest it. And so we looked to the modern tools of biotechnology where we use the genetics of the spider to then make that same material, but no spiders. That's where David's team comes in and learns how to design these things using engineering principles and scale it up. How do you make a fiber like a spider silk fiber in standard temperatures and pressures like a spider does every day? It starts out at the computer whereby our scientists design the properties they want out of a silk fiber. We order the DNA, we then take that DNA and put it into yeast, brew it up like beer, but instead of making alcohol, we make spider silk protein, purify the protein and extrude it into fibers just like standard fiber extrusion practices. And from there, we can make incredible yarns, textiles, and apparel products using our industry standard knitting and weaving equipment. There's this idea that nature's evolved fibers that are better than anything we've ever made as engineers before, and that we can learn from the blueprint that's existed before we got here. This is a platform in which we can use modern biotechnology to make materials for the millions upon millions of tons of stuff that make the things we wear every day. The proteins that make up spider silk are very similar to proteins that make up a number of other interesting materials in nature, from adhesive materials to colored materials. And all of those we can access with our platform. It's stronger than steel, it's tougher than Kevlar, it's biodegradable, it feels like a natural fabric and being able to leverage both sustainability and performance is ultimately where we want to push the consumer apparel industry or the apparel industry altogether. Literally 100% of us on the planet, maybe 99.999% of us, use apparel every day. <laughs> we wear stuff, we have a closet full of stuff. As Americans, we spend about $1,600 a year on average on apparel. So if you can have an impact there, you've got something that no one's focused on that problem set and you can have massive impact around the world. We see a future where there's a massive need for us to create new materials that can be recycled by the environment around us. And that's what we try to make here. Everything is built on kind of the tools that nature's evolved over the last four billion years that life's existed on this planet. Going back to what evolution has spent these billions of years creating and leveraging it now for our benefit.